we will see if this lens is sharp enough because we will test it on a challenging 30 megapixel sensor. I will show you the results that I have here on the screen and leave my comments along the way. Let's begin. This lens, the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 STM, is probably the best cheap prime lens with autofocus. It was released back in 2015 and we can all agree on the fact that we can get some nice results with it. This cheap nifty 50 will always be a nice thing to own. But the future is coming. Will it still have good sharpness while facing a 30 megapixel sensor? Let's find out. With the lens mounted on a Canon EOS R, I photographed this image with targets. This is the center and this is the corner of the image. I put both on one screen so that we can see how this lens is performing at different apertures. Let's start with the widest, f1.8. At this aperture, the center of the image is soft and the corners look worse, with a lot of ghosting. We will only get a small improvement if we stop down to f2. The moment when we see good sharpness in the middle of the image happens now if we stop down to f2.8. At this aperture, the corners got a massive improvement and ghosting almost disappeared. As we stop the aperture more, I have to say that I'm pretty satisfied with what this lens is offering. Remember, we have a challenging resolution of 30 megapixels here. Look, now at f4, the center looks excellent and corner sharpness is quite good. If we want to see better sharpness in the corners, we'll have to switch to f5.6. Let's now see corner sharpness on one screen. f8 is pretty similar to f5.6 and when it comes to diffraction, we can get good results at up to f16. This lens handles diffraction quite well. At the widest apertures, we see typical results for a nifty 50. Not too good, but not bad. Decent sharpness at f2.8 and good results from corner to corner, starting with f4. In conclusion, yes, if you have this lens, you are lucky. It proves to be good even with a challenging 30 megapixel sensor. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button and see you on the next one.